Okay, this is K4SWL Thomas here, and uh, just did a quick video uh, showing how I do CW activations with Parks on the Air, and thought now I'd go over how I do single sideband contacts on Parks on the Air, uh, sort of how my workflow goes. Um, in this case, I'm using the ICOM IC705 uh, QRP transceiver. We're running 5 watts because I'm just using the internal battery pack here. And um, I've paired it with the um, Elecraft T1 uh, automatic antenna tuner. And I uh, uh, haven't set this up yet to operate on this band. I moved up from the CW portion and um, now I'm going to try to operate phone on 40 meters and we'll see how that goes. Uh, so what I'm going to do first of all is tune up. I've been on this frequency for a long time and no one's on here. I always listen for, I mean, I try to listen for a couple minutes if I can and uh, before I um, try to tune up on a frequency. But there's no one there. There's someone off to the side, but they won't be bothered by this, by my 5 watts especially. So what I'm going to do is press the tune button here on the T1 and then send a string of dashes with my paddle and it's going to try to find a match. I could send a straight tone and that would do it a little faster, but I've got the paddle already hooked up, so that's the way I'm going to do it. Now switch back over to single sideband. I've got my mic here. And actually I've already set up my CQ call in the voice memories uh, here with the uh, 705, and it has a total of eight memories. I have CQ in this one. Uh, and um, actually I'll show you how that's set up though. It's very, very simple. So let's say I want to do um, you know, a voice recording here. I just press record. I tell it I want it to be in the T1 position. It activates the mic. And you'll see here on the screen uh, the levels are changing even though I don't have the uh, push to talk pressed at all. It's just using the mic directly as if it were a box thing. I press record and then I give my CQ and then I press stop. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4 Sugar Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. I like to keep my Parks on the Air con, uh, CQs very, very short. Uh, I don't like them to be really long and drawn out because mostly people are looking for you through the Poda network, which I'll show you here in a second. And they already know your call sign, they know your park and everything. Uh, you just need to identify yourself while you're out there. And also, you know, have enough of a CQ that if someone hears you just kind of passing by, they'll know it's a park on the air. Um, so now we've got that in the T1 position. Now if I press and hold this, I don't have to ask if the frequency is in use. I've already uh, determined that this is a dead frequency. If I press this, it's actually sending my uh, CQ right now. And you can tell it's using the SD card. That'll flash because it's using a recording from it. And that's it. What I'm going to do is press and hold this, so it's sending CQ constantly. So every, uh, it'll send CQ, it waits five, six, seven seconds, and then it'll send another CQ. And you can adjust the amount of time it waits in between uh, sending CQ. Right now I've got it on pretty slow, I usually have it a little faster than that. And in the meantime, what we'll do is go over here to the Parks on the Air uh, website, and before, when I was operating CW, I didn't have to do this. What I'm doing right now is self-spotting. So I'm putting myself in the uh, POTA network. It's under POTA.us, P-O-T-A dot U-S. I click here, add a spot, put in my call sign, K4SWL. That's the activator call. The spotter call sign is also me, K4SWL. I put in the frequency, which is 72, sev or, yeah, 72, 74 kilohertz and I put in the park reference which is K2740 I add that spot oh, comments I'm just gonna put self spot sometimes it asks for comments sometimes it doesn't so now it's on here uh, with the PETA network so people can find me so now we sit back and hope someone's paying attention. <laughs> we never know when we do a park activation if we're gonna get any contacts or not, frankly. I'm operating very low power. I'm operating five watts, uh, single sideband. You know, it's not a lot of power. Um, conditions aren't wonderful, but I've got a decent antenna. I've got a great radio, and I've got a lot of patience. 
and I hope you do too uh, because I'm not editing this video I'm just gonna do it I want to give you uh, yeah real life um, uh, idea of what it's like doing a park activation with no prep no one's looking out for me no nothing it's just it is what it is I just hope my uh, phone battery doesn't run out uh, before I make a contact here I'm gonna go ahead and call CQ manually CQ Poda CQ Poda this is Kilo 4 Sugar Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sugar Whiskey Lima, calling CQ for Parks on the Air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sugar Whiskey Lima, calling CQ for Parks on the Air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sugar Whiskey Lima, calling CQ for Parks on the Air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sugar Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. Um. QRZ? CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sugar Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sugar Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. November 3, X-Ray Lima Sierra. November 3, X-Ray Lima Sierra. You sound great about a 5x8 here at uh, park number 2740. Great to work you twice on CW and now on SSB. I think this may be a record. November 3, X-Ray Lima Sierra. Okay, obviously he can't hear me as well as I can hear him. November 3, X-Ray Lima Sierra. This is Kilo 4, Sugar Whiskey Lima. You are 5x8, five 5x8, eight, five eight, park number 2740. QSL? Roger, roger, you are 33, 33, 33, Pennsylvania, Papa Alpha, QSL. QSL, my friend, thank you for working me so many times here at this site, and uh, have yourself a great week. Seven threes, my friend. 73s, good luck. QRZ, this is Kilo 4, Sugar Whiskey Lima for Parks on the Air. Now this is the thing, um, so November 3, X-Ray Lima Sierra, if you look here, I don't know if you can see this on the log or not, I actually have them here uh, twice with CW contacts. Well, I think it's somebody, I'm gonna have to go back to them. Uh, twice CW and now once on single sideband. Since it was different modes and it was different um, bands, it actually counts as different contacts for each. So it counts as a separate contact for me here in the park. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sugar Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. Now I'm just sending my CQ there. So, um, you know, for me, it was really nice that I, he worked me three times. He didn't need to work me three times, but he did. That makes it a little bit easier for me to have a valid activation because I need 10 contacts. And basically, he is now my um, uh, 11th contact uh, because, of, because he did this which gives me a comfortable margin uh, whenever I'm doing parks on the air. Now, as you can see, we're starting to run a little low on battery powered. I've been operating for quite a while now, I guess since, I've uh, been operating almost an hour, I guess, uh, pretty intensively actually. And I'm not even sure, this battery was not full when I got here because I was using it this morning to record some broadcasts and things. So it had been on already two and a half hours. So this isn't too bad. And, um, um, when you're operating such low power and you're using single sideband, um, you can't always expect just tons of contacts coming in. If you're at a rare park, one that either hasn't been activated before or hasn't been activated many times, even with very low power, people will usually work you because they're going to dig you out of the noise to try to find you. And um, set this back on repeat. This really saves your voice. Um, so... Um, Anyway, um, I'm going to continue working here for... 
I'm going to continue working here just a little while. I may hop off this frequency. I'm starting to hear someone come in. I think the band's changing a bit, and there may be someone talking on this frequency. Sounds like. So I'm going to move frequencies, actually, and uh, probably do a little bit more CW2. Um, but anyway, just thought I'd give you a really quick uh, idea of what it's like doing the parts on the air activation um, in real time. Uh, this is <laughs> slow TV at its best, uh, but it kind of gives you an idea of how I do my workflow. Uh, so very, uh, thank you very much, and uh, please uh, let me know if you got any comments or anything, and I'll do my best to address them. I'm not a YouTuber. <laughs> I'm not a professional video person. This is all one take, uh, but I just wanted to give you an uh, idea of what these things are like.